Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Orange County, New York, in my hangar, ready to leave. And it's 31 degrees out, it's cold. So my last video I put up by plugging my airplane in and wrapping up nice, made out perfectly for today's weather. We're going to fly to Columbia County, VFR, uh, get some fuel, hang out a little bit, then head back to Orange County. And then from Orange County, I'm gonna head back, I'm gonna head to uh, Sky Manor for breakfast. I don't know if I'm gonna record that trip. I'm bringing some friends along. So stick around, enjoy the flight to Columbia County. We're gonna grab it from flight following. And of course, the free coffee at one Bravo One, which is Columbia County. See you in the airplane. Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, it is a cold morning uh, here in New York. Northeast is finally getting to the 30s at night. The winds, winds appear to be calm. We're going to uh, one Bravo One, which is Columbia County. And let's listen to the weather. Let's see what's going on over here in Orange County. One zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus zero one Celsius. Dew point minus zero two Celsius. Altimeter three zero two one. Remarks. Density altitude minus one thousand eight hundred. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation one one five five Zulu. Wind two one zero at zero three. Visibility one. All right, we'll take two, two. There's nothing going on with the wind socks, but it's all right. We'll take the long way around. Uh, not in the ground, but in the air, I'm going that way. Two, two takes you that way. Um, so yeah, so we're going over there. I know you guys uh, know Columbia County very well. Uh, let's get some fuel and some, uh, some, fu um, some fuel and some, of course, of that free coffee. So it's all good. Then after I do this, we're going to go to um, Sky Manor for late breakfast. I got these layers on. There's no use of t-shirts in the summertime. I got three layers on because it's cold. I don't like wearing big jackets. And it makes you feel like you gained 20 pounds putting the seatbelt on. <laughs> so you're trying to stuff yourself into the seatbelt. and like, wait a minute, did I gain that much weight? But it's because of all the layers. I did, however, gain two pounds, so I gotta, I gotta have to lose two pounds somewhere. I forgot my sunglasses, so uh, we'll deal with the sun. Let's turn on the CO detector. Yeah, put some heat on. Right now, it's not too bad inside the airplane. As, as you can see, I just started the plane up. Uh, uh, you guys, I, I turned the I turned the plane on, and then 30 seconds later, I turned the cameras on. So I've been idling now for or running the, the engine now for probably five minutes or less. But as soon as I start up the plane, because I had you know, I have it plugged in, like I, in my last video I had, it's everything's already in the green. Oil temperature, you no, know, still um, oil temperature is in the green, uh, which is really nice to not have it buried buried down. So it's already at 147 degrees. Um, so it's nice to, to have that. So I don't have to uh, sit there and preheat for 45 minutes to an hour. All right, we'll do the run up here. And a handy dandy checklist, which is right over there. Uh, I do get a couple questions about the checklist. Uh, about, like, do I, do I, can I put it in the Dynon screen? Well, it's already in there, uh, but I just, it's so easy to pull it out right there uh, that I just use this. 
Um, but I can use Dynon. It's already programmed in there. I did it myself. It is also has a checklist feature as well, but it's just pull this out. And it's it's nice. It's quick and it's easy. So I'm gonna do the checklist. Right back with you guys. Okay, we got the checklist it is complete. Already walked around it. The engine's very is running great. I'm gonna put the uh, anti-collision light on, strobes on. Daylight is already on, and I don't hear anybody, so let's put this uh, in the pattern. Um, it's a bit too early. One Bravo 1, and we'll activate the flight plan. We're going to go to uh, 3,500. Oops. Zero. Radio check. Radio check. Zero four zero heading. Radio check. To 3,000. Or 3,500. That New York approach already in there. Their observation. One two zero zero Zulu. Wind two two zero at zero three. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus zero one Celsius. Dew point minus zero two Celsius. Altimeter three zero two two. Remarks. Density altitude minus one thousand eight hundred. All right, remember to actually do the standby <laughs> because I I sometimes forget to put the uh, um, barometer in there, and I should not. I should, I should, you know, I meant to put that part of the checklist. Uh, I wish it, these two would sync at least with the um, barometer. I get it why it's separate because the batteries are separate. That's cool, but it'd be nice if you can just uh, do that. Okay, we're ready to go. We're going to put full screen here, full PFD, and hope I'm okay with the maps. There's no TFRs. I've checked that. And we're going to go flying. It's a heavy, heavy VFR day. Uh, but up north might get some clouds. We might have to do a pop-up. I don't think so. We'll see. For some moisture, we'll keep an eye out on the uh, carb temperature. It's right now it's 80 degrees, but we're idling. Okay, fuel pump coming on. Mixture's full rich. Not forget to put the mixer in full rich. Or tonight traffic. Anybody short base final all two two. Or tonight traffic. Mooney taking two two for departure. Or tonight. All right, let's do it. It's look. It's fifty two point four nautical miles away from this airport. It's just across country. Okay, we're on the green. All the temperatures are good. Oil temperatures are good. We're going to rock and roll down this runway. Hey, you need a lot of right rudder. That P factor, full power is in. Everything's in the green. Looking good, speed's alive. We're at 50, looking for 60. 60, we're going to rotate. You're coming up. And we're going to trip down a little bit. Everything's still in the green, looking good. The winter time, the air is so heavy uh, that these these props just bite that um, thick air and just you're you're out. All right, put the flaps up, trim down. We got some uh, balloons out here. We have the balloons have to right away. Air balloons. Orange County traffic. Mooney turning right crosswind. Two two. Orange County. Flaps up. Gear is up. I was like, the light's not red. There you go, now it's red. There's a little tiny flap in there that you can turn it and close it. So when you're flying at night, we'll pull the power back, keep the neighbors happy. Um, so is that, you know, like the, the light's not in your eyes when you're flying at night? <clears throat> All right, 25-25. Orange County traffic. What are you right now? 2-2 two, two, Orange County. Oh, I, did, I threw a night flight um, a while back, and I forgot to put that back on. Beautiful calm morning. Orange County traffic. We need to partner pattern to northeast. Climbing through 1,900. See it. Our 
right, let's get New York. Let's see how they're doing this morning. New York, good morning, Mooney, November 6, 887, November, VFR request. Open bottom. It's 887, November, go ahead. Just the part of Orange County, my golf Juliet, climbing through 2,400 for 3,500. Requesting flight following to Columbia County, 1 Bravo 1. Hey, Brad, you said, uh, I'm sorry, you uh, a Mooney, you said? That's right, that's correct, man. Uh, Mooney, November 6, 887, November. Roger, stand by for code. November Squawk 1766 and I done. 1766 November. November radar contact three miles on northeast Orange County Airport. I'll tune the gate 3,300. Maintain VFR. Stewart altimeter 3021. 3021 will maintain VFR. Uh, 8th of November, thank you. Approaching altitude. All right. Going to Columbia County. Um, there's some haze out here. I can see it from here, but uh, it doesn't look like it's cloudy. I forgot my sunglasses, they're somewhere. So we were at 3,500, we got flight following out of New York, and we're just gonna kinda chill here at 3,500, everything's in the green. Any light can come off. You can pull the RPMs back. And we'll mix her out a little bit. So flying in the northeast, folks, as you know, whoever lives out here, you got to be careful. Um, icing, of course, carb ice. Uh, 32 degrees outside. Excuse me. The uh, carb temperature, which is nice, the Dynon has a probe in there. Get back down. It has a probe, uh, and it reads the carb temperature, which is nice because you get an idea uh, when to really start paying attention with your RPMs. Uh, because if you start getting a drop of RPMs um, in this kind of conditions, most likely, <coughs> excuse me, most likely you're having some carb ice issues. And you want to get a head start on that real quick, because it can happen real quick. Um, you know, it does happen, but if you get it, you're fine. It's a beautiful morning here. Uh, no complaints, air is nice. For VFR, the power pull back. And believe it or not, even in the uh, states, Florida and whatnot, in the cold air, you get up high, even in the clouds and it gets cold, you can still get car by so you still got to be careful, no matter where you are this time of year. It's beautiful out, clear as day. Everything's working great in the airplane. There's no traffic in the area. It's early. I need to get my free coffee. And what we'll do is we'll go to information. Uh, one Bravo one's in there. We'll go to comms. So we'll put the uh, Unicom uh, on the AWOS. We'll put that in the down below here in the SL30. We'll tune that to comm here. And we'll just swap it over. If we can get it sooner or later. Plane's flying beautifully. Um, depending on doing a trip out to Arizona, possibly in March, 
uh, with Mike. I don't know if you guys know Mike, my instructor and friend. So uh, we're probably going to do that and then go see Pat. Everybody knows Pat. That's going to be the longest cross country I've ever done at uh, this point. And uh, it's good. To, so I'm going to do that. It'll be fun. Let's switch I had the autopilot. Approaching altitude. Need the autopilot. Um, you know, around here it's not a big deal. You fly a couple hours, not a big deal. But when you're flying a long cross country, it's nice to have that autopilot. Just kind of, okay, let's look outside. Let's, you know, if you're an IMC or whatever, it, it takes a little bit of stuff off your shoulders. And uh, hopefully Dynon gets there uh, very soon. So if there is some fog, we'll, we'll hear it. Uh, we can always do a pop-up. Uh, IFR into Columbia County. Actually, my buddy Mike is uh, flying a uh, King Air there, so uh, probably might be there, not sure. Once you get trimmed for the booty, you can really just use the rudder pedal as a steer because the rudder is tied up with the ailerons. A little bit of a, so if you do left rudder, right rudder, the ailerons also help out with a nice um, turnouts and steering. It's really nice. A couple of questions I got, some emails I've gotten back to people on. Don't be afraid to email me at pilotfunder101 at gmail.com. I will get back to you. Uh, it might take a day or two, or maybe even less than that. Um, I've been working on a big project at work, so I've been really tied up. And that's why a lot of videos haven't been out this year. Number one, the IFR training took a lot of time out of me and a concentration. And number two, a project at work and stuff going on with the economy right now with a shortage of stuff. So it's been quite uh, quite crazy trying to get things done. Uh, but that's why I've not a lot of videos this year compared to my previous year. Uh, but... Do you recommend the class, um, or just do Kings or any other programs on the on the website, uh, internet-based programs? I, I suggest you do a, a ground school course, uh, unless you're really a good learner, a fast learner, you, you, everything sticks to you. I'm not, so I went. I did that um, three-day course down in Morristown, American Flyers. They do a three-day course on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, I took the test that Sunday after the third course was over. The third day was over. Everything was still in my mind, and it's amazing when you take all these courses uh, and these tests and you study, when you actually sit down and take the test, it's, wow, well, I know that question, I know that question, I know that question, I know that question. Everything like comes pretty quickly. Um, and if you get a, um, a hold question and uh, use a calculator or however you want to do it, uh, you know how to do it, the formula, how to, how, to find the, how to find basically the answer in the question. And that's what it's all about. Uh, so I do recommend you do a ground school, um, and uh, I said it before in a couple of videos that I took all of January off, not off of work, but off of doing anything, and studied a couple hours a day before I went to bed and in, in the morning. Every day, didn't stop, every day. If I took a, studying for a test, and I take a week off, or three days off, and I forget, and I have to go back, I don't want to go back and forth and try to, I want to study, get it over with. Study, get it over with. So take the time to get it out of the way. Um, and that's just how I do things, and that's what I did. And I tell you, I already used my ticket legitimately, not just for practice. Legitimately needed my ticket uh, down to Ocean City, Maryland with friends a few months back. So if I didn't have that ticket, that would have been another, yet another trip I had to cancel taking the airplane not even going because by the time you drive down there and I don't I can't take a week off from work typically uh, so I like to like the two-day trips you fly down you're there Friday night Saturday night come back Sunday afternoon uh, and uh, so I, I can't take a week drive you know this whatever many hours it gets down there from New York oh so it's nice so I had to use it you know I was an IMC for about 35 minutes there's no it was no way around it um, and uh, coming back to Orange County they had me at 5,000 feet, 20 miles south of Philadelphia, and I was in IMC the whole entire way, in and out, but majority of the time in IMC the whole time, all the way down to 1,200 feet ILS-4 in Orange County. 
And again, if I didn't have that ticket, I wouldn't have to. I couldn't take off that day, or I wouldn't cancel the whole trip. Because how I do a trip is I look at the day I'm getting there, the day I have to leave. And the weather is iffy, I cancel it. That's why I canceled two times going to Florida the last couple of years because it was nice going down, a little bit of Georgia and Florida, low ceilings at the airports, and you know, and I'm like, uh, gotta cancel. Then I airline it down the last minute. Oh, but it's fine. We're doing good. New York is very quiet. Very, very quiet. Let's see if we can get to ATIS. The airport. Automated weather observation. One, two, one, six, Zulu. Weather. Wind. Calm. Visibility. One, zero. Clear. Below. One, two, thousand. Temperature. Minus one. Okay, so we got calm winds, runway three, ceilings are good, visibility is good, we're good to go in, we'll use three. Um, and it's, you know, the, this, just to get there too fast, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, you know, doing 140 true with the power pulled back. And uh, our next frequency, uh, it's going to be um, Albany. So we'll go to frequency, we'll go Albany approach, we'll put that in standby. Beautiful, beautiful morning. I gotta take a picture. So, uh, you know, I gotta take pictures. 6887 November, contact Albany Approach 132.82. Good night. 3282. Thanks for, for the help. See you later. 87 November. Albany, good morning. Mooney 6887 November is with you. 3500. Going to 1 Bravo 1. Money 6887 November, Albany Approach, Albany Off Number 3021, VFR Descent, your discretion, Columbia County. Okay, it's 3021, it already sent for Columbia County, 8 November, thank you. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we are 25 miles out, so we can start heading downhill. Uh, we got to do about 200 feet per minute. It's, fair, it's clear, I'm good with that. Uh, so I sometimes, in this valley here, because you have the Hudson River, Okay, and you have the, the, the air changing, so you get that morning fog, and then once all the weather stays cold, you get very beautiful clear mornings in New York at 30 degrees, and it's beautiful. Um, but when the weather is like kind of warm at night, then it kind of gets cold overnight, it, it, it gets this fog and this, you know, out in California, what do they call it, marine light or something? Probably different, so don't quote me on that. So sometimes it just hangs over the airport, and just, and sometimes not even the whole airport, just like the approach of two, the approach of three. So I flew to Columbia County, you guys know, uh, uh, so many times. And um, when, the, when, that, when that fog is rolling in, it's always just getting the approach of three. Always the three and the other side of two one is always clear. So I usually say, okay, well, let me come around. So it's just, the airport's just in that part of the valley. Uh, that it just gets half the airport. But if it wasn't, if it was over the airport, sometimes at 1,200, 1,300, um, I would have done a pop-up um, VFR, um, IFR, and just got me in. But we don't got to do that. We're going to head into runway three, and we're going to slow down, because boonies don't like to go too slow. And we're going to watch. We're at six, 57 degrees in the carburetor uh, temperature. And what I'll do is I'll put the procedure, we'll do the RNAV3, we'll do vectors, we don't have to go. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, we'll just do vectors. We're kind of not even around that area. We'll do vectors, it's not a big deal. And we'll activate the approach. Um, we're, we're VFR, we don't got to follow really anything to get in. But um, you guys can't, you probably can't see. We're going to go down to 25 now, go down slowly here. I mean, you guys can't see, but uh, over the Hudson River, in this part is like a layer. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, I'll take a picture and I'll, put, I'll post that. I'll kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I'll post that picture. And there's that layer that sits above the water. Um, sometimes it hangs up high. And that's what could cause um, issue over at Columbia County in the, in the early mornings. Tell you, flying in the northeast, I got to tell you, it gets cold. It's that time of year, and let me tell you, I'm not the one to say 
know, um, I like warmer weather, because I do like warmer weather, but the Northeast is just fun to fly in, with the laying light on, because you have, where I'm at in Orange County, New York, is just 60 miles-ish north of New York City. Uh, it's a beautiful county, Orange County. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's just really nice up here. And you have the Hudson River, you have um, Hudson Valley, which, is, you know, you have a lot of valleys up here. Um, and also, it's just beautiful. Upstate New York, you got the, the hills, you know. And uh, you, can, you get to just not fly in New York. You get to go to all these other states that are really close by. Like, you know, you got Connecticut, you got obviously New York, New Jersey, uh, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, um, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's just everything is kind of, you know, Vermont. Everything is kind of right here. Uh, so you don't have to fly so far. And you're, still, altitude. and you're still in the same state. So it's nice. And I have the airport actually in sight, which is cool. I do like flying in the area. I don't like when it's 20 degrees outside <laughs> because it's cold. Uh, but I got the nice heat. It works good in this airplane. So we're good to go here, looking good. I'm going to put uh, the Unicom in. I want to hear what's going on. We are 15 miles out. I'm going to cancel with them soon. Um, we're going to put 23.5. Oops. 20, oop, 23.05. Uh, see Unicom there for Orange County. And let's pull the power back even more. Do 500 feet per minute. And we'll use three, go straight in. If folks, any questions, please email me, pilotfund101 at gmail.com. 5, 13, 26, 1, 1, 11, with Fox Rod. Any of what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. 3021. 3021, and 51326. Yeah, Dominic, Mooney 8th can cancel with you. We have the airport in sight. Altitude. Albany, Gulfstream 1624 Kilo, off uh, Pittsfield, VFR out of uh, 4,000 for 16 and a half. Number 1624 Kilo, Albany departure, I dent, Albany altimeter 3021. 3021, uh, 24 Kilo. Number 24 Kilo, radar contact, two miles west of Pittsfield Airport. And Albany approach, Mooney 8, November, can cancel with the airport in sight. Mooney, 8th of November, radar service terminated, squawk VFR, approved to change approved. VFR approved for frequency change, good day, thank you, 8th of November. Okay, we're done. Okay. The airport in sight. And there's, there's a bank here, and a bank. Now these banks over to Hudson right now are too low to get into uh, Columbia County uh, because they're definitely below minimums. Even with the LPV, you know, it's it's not. If, if uh, you guys, uh, one, uh, yeah, there's another question, real quick, that I've gotten since I got all the IFR stuff out of the way in the system here. Uh, is it worth to get to WAS for the, the thousand or whatever it is more? Absolutely, and. When you have WAS, you get to get down lower. I see actually Albany over there. Uh, I'm going to make a radio call real quick and I'll explain that to you. Columbia County traffic, Mooney 688, Sun November, 10 miles out to the southwest, inbound 3, Columbia County. <coughs> Excuse me, man. Um, because, like, for example, um, the L, you have the LPV, I forget what runway is, in Block Island. One has it, one doesn't. Um, and the one that has the LPV gets you down 200 feet and change closer to the ground. And that's, and that, it's every airport, if you have the LPV and all that stuff, uh, it gets you down further with the WAS. Um, without WAS, you gotta kinda stick around where you have to be, uh, where your minimums are without WAS, without the LPV. And it can make a difference of you getting in or not. So, that couple hundred feet is huge in aviation, believe it or not. So that's why I would suggest 
Uh, you get the, the wasp, and it's good when you, res when you resell your plane that your plane has wasps because a lot of pilots, they want to have that option to fly IFR or they're getting their IFR or whatever the case may be. And you don't have to have wasps, but it's good to have it uh, to get places a little bit lower. Because uh, when I was training with Mike, there's a video um, on my channel that we went down the minimums. I forgot what runway it was in the top of my head. I forget what it is. But the other runway didn't have WAS. Uh, I'm sorry, didn't have LPV. So if I didn't have WAS, I would have had to have used uh, the runway without the LPV, which I would have gotten in. All right, so let's focus here. We are now seven miles out. We'll start slowing her down a little more. miles out. We're not in gear speed yet. Never are in gear speed to the last minute. And boy did I learn, you know, with this IFR stuff, you know, holding 90 knots and all this. Man, I've learned this to slow this thing down way out. I mean, it's just, you have to, because you just don't want to overspeed everything. Everything comes quicker. You don't want to pull the, you know, the, uh, the gear down. Uh, I mean, the Moonies are very slippery airplanes, and without speed, br speed brakes, um, it helps. Um, but you constantly got to mess the power and pull up and all that fun stuff. So I like to get my stuff situated pretty far out to get everything in um, radio. Columbia County traffic. Mooney's on a five mile final three, Columbia County. A beautiful morning. And Okay, we're, approach we're approaching uh, the traffic pattern altitude here at Columbia County, which is 1200. It's only 8.30. That's perfect. Get to relax here for a few minutes, have a free cup of coffee, and just chill. We're all looking good right now. We're going to be we're three to four miles out. We're going to pull that power back more. We're just about right in gear speed, which I like. Perfect power settings. We are in gear speed, so gas is coming on. Undercarriage is coming down. Can't mess up this gear. Hey, it's locked in, and it'll put the approach flaps in. Nice. It feels like you're in an airliner, because when they put their gear down to get that rumbling sound on your feet, because the gear's down, the doors are down. Uh, same thing with this plane. It's funny, because you get, you get all that um, extra noise. Gas, undercarriage, mixture. Uh, the prop come in. On that glide, prop in nice and easy. No need to jam and everything in here. Mixture is full rich. We're good power settings. Gears are down green, and gears down green on the Dynon Skyview HDX. It's going to yell altitude, so I'll be down below 200. But it's all right. We're not uh, on a flight plan here. Columbia County altitude. traffic, uh, Moody 8, 7 November is on short final 3, full stop, Columbia County. Alright, let's put the full flaps in. We got the trim up. Okay, full flaps are in, trim up. Airport is in sight still, that's a good thing. The carb is at 68 degrees. I don't need the carb heat. Five hundred feet over the ground. Is what she said. All good here. So we got gear down, gear down. 
check locked. Flaps are full. Mixture first. Props full forward. Seatbelt is on. Back gear a hundred times. Right, looking good at 65 knots. A little slow. I like to go over about 75, 70, but it's okay. There's no wind. Back gear check one more time. We're locked in. Let it sink down. Perfect. Look at that. All right. Made it to Columbia County. We're looking good. Fuel pump coming off. Uh, and flaps can come up, I guess. I should make that first turn off. I came in slow and didn't make the first turn off. Whatever. All right, folks. Well, thanks for flying along. I appreciate it. And uh, like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. Email me, pilotfun1 at gmail.com for any questions or concerns. And also I'm on Instagram, TikTok. Believe it or not, I know, right? Big step for me. <laughs> Facebook, of course. Facebook. I think I'm going to hit 40,000 followers on Facebook. It's a lot of people on Facebook. Facebook is very hard to get people to join your fun. Columbia County traffic. Mooney clear. Three, Columbia. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> here we are. Actually, Mike is there. He's already waving and yelling at me like always. That's a fur. Watch your needles. I know, I know. I'm gonna get fuel and what the hell this guy parked in the middle of somewhere. This guy's parked somewhere. In the middle of the uh, aisle, that's alright, I guess, for now. guys i'll see ya i safe be safe as pat would say he'll mess that up but that's right you guys on a win return trip